King Rexy, a fellow Kingdom Rush YouTuber, asks, Can you beat Kingdom Rush on Veteran with just Rangers and Alira Swiftwind? Well, <laughs> it's basically gonna go like this. Unlike bullets from Musketeers, arrows from Rangers can often miss their targets, potentially reducing their killing efficiency. Oh, I know very well that this happens. Illyria's multi-shot has the potential to deal heavy damage against a tanky enemy. <laughs> yeah, right! You won't see her, you won't hear her, but hell, you will feel Illyria Swiftwind, hero of Lanaria. <laughs> this is seriously comedic gold, guys. So can you beat Kingdom Rush on Veteran with just these rangers and Illyria? Okay, so already at this point in the video, I've made fun of Illyria a lot, but she kind of deserves that place because either her or Bolin, the gun slinging guy, one of them is the worst ever. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Is that too harsh? They're definitely the two worst people in this whole freaking game by far. They just, they don't block anything. They do hardly any damage. Their abilities suck. Don't believe me? Here's what the wiki says. Two to four damage on iOS for her freaking cat attack. That's bad. That's a bad ability. If that's not a bad ability, then what is? I mean, the cat offers some sort of blocking and it starts at level four. So yeah, it's better than it just being her or else she would guaranteed be the worst hero ever. But man, she's just so underwhelming. It's ridiculous. Luckily, the archers do not fall into the same category. The archers are like at least A tier, man. These archers are awesome. Their vine ability stuns enemies, big groups of enemies, for up to three seconds dealing like 120 damage. That is amazing. That's one of the ways that this, you know, it doesn't have any blockers like some other combo towers that you see in this series. But if you can just stun people anyways while damaging them, it, it works really good. So this is a really good tower. It's very well balanced. And then you have the poison arrow ability. I don't like how expensive it is. 250 per upgrade when it's only doing true damage up to 15 per upgrade for every couple seconds. It's it's like, could it, could it just be better or cheaper at least? I don't know. You should be able to upgrade it more than that. It is true damage. It's um, when maxed out, it's 45 damage every three seconds and it changes the way that the archers attack actually it causes them to start shooting different enemies so that everyone can be affected with poison rather than just the enemy that's closest to your exit which is pretty smart man you don't see that kind of effort being put into a lot of different abilities throughout all these games but that one is is pretty smart so i'm rushing again on this level bad habits never die I could have done better. Some of these levels, I end up getting um, two stars or a few lives lost. And I, I might have been able to get three stars on most of these up to this point. But I just, I don't want to go back and replay them an infinite amount of times for that. Okay? So, you're just going to have to deal with it. And is it just me? Or are these jetpack riders consistently the most annoying enemies? <laughs> Seriously, I freaking hate those guys. They have a lot of health. If you don't attack them right away, then they'll boost when they're close to your exit, making them impossible to kill. Freaking impossible. So really, the only way that you can take them out consistently is to attack them so that they'll boost as soon as they enter the level, which means you have to build towers really close to where all the enemies are entering. It's pretty annoying when you have choke points that are really close to your exit, which is most of these levels, so... I, I hate those guys. I've said it once. I'll say it again. All right, JT. I mean, I've taken down this boss before many times. The poison isn't doing an insane amount of damage or anything. Again, it's a, it's a good ability. It's a little too expensive. I wish that it did more damage. I mean, yeah, you're not supposed to have one tower be able to do literally everything possible ever all at once. But I can make demands, even if they're ridiculous now who would have thought the biggest problem that i'll have in this whole challenge is taking out skeleton knights i mean they have like over 400 hp they have good attack they spawn every time you kill some big bad boy frick man they they're not affected by the poison them nor the little skeletons but the little skeletons die easily so no one cares about them but these big boys look at them you can barely slow them down. I mean, 
the weed ability, the, the thorns, they trap them. The meteors really are the key. You have to time those perfectly. Or else the skeletons are just, they're going to overwhelm you. They're going to add up to infinity skeletons and they're going to rush your exit. So drop your meteors perfectly, okay? And I mean that. There's no room for mistakes. So for this level, things are a bit hairy at times. I think I failed the first attempt or two, maybe even three. The freaking giant lava elementals, those big golem guys in the back there, they're hard to take down. They don't get poisoned either. So that that sucks. Another thing that I don't like about the poison is you poison more guys. But here we are, the last level. I'm really wondering if this level is possible at this point. I failed it many times. Oh no. oh no, what is that? Do you see that? A misfire? I failed my own advice! Yet another way that playing on your freaking iOS is at a major disadvantage compared to playing on Steam. It's easy to misclick all the time. If you just have fat thumb problems or you're a little bit clumsy, you're just gonna die. So thanks to that mistake, we are down to two hearts entering the last wave. And this last wave is ridiculous because there's four Dark Knights in the very top right of this. They have great armor, which is just insane. It's good for them, bad for me. I don't like it. They haven't upgraded to chainsaws yet, but dang, if you don't drop like two meteors on those guys, they're not going down, especially on veteran when they have like all this extra HP. Ah, stupid freaking lava elementals again. Anyways, I mean, <laughs> we're at this point, right? I don't remember the boss being too bad, so I'm like, okay, I probably have this in the bag. Let's see how Illyria does with her cat. Goodbye, cat. Goodbye, Illyria. <laughs> Seriously, they just, they die instantly. I was like, ah, whatever, she'll come back. Dies again. This guy's health isn't going down insanely quickly. I was kind of thinking that maybe I'd kill him before he even, like, kind of gets close, but, you know, that's not exactly happening. But he's at his demon form. Can we target him enough and not the skeletons? Oh, yes. Yes, we can. We did it. Yeah! Misfire and all. So can you beat Kingdom Rush on Veteran with just Ranger's Hideout and Illyria? Yes, you can. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe or something!